Hi, hello, welcome. This is Gigi, and this is a special happy birthday tarot reading from my airy sign. Hi, babies. How are you? Of course, I have to do your birthday reading, okay? It's a special tarot reading, okay? It's a timeless reading, but also it's a general reading. I always recommend you go ahead and watch your other sign placement. They may resonate with you as well, okay? When I come in uh, in front of you guys, I just want you to know that I always shuffle the cards and meditate before because now I understand without a doubt that it could be kind of disturbing hearing the, you know, the cards on the table and the shuffling, okay? I didn't get it at, at first, you know, a long time ago, but I, I get it, okay? So just so you know, I have... Uh, shuffle and meditate it before your reading and see what the message is. Okay, I know a lot of Aries. Um, I love Aries. I love Aries men. They're so masculine and sexy, okay? And Aries and Scorpio, there's like a connection, a mystical connection, okay? So let's see what the message is for you, my Aries sign. Ten of Swords. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. The tower is in the reverse. Queen of Wands is in the reverse. Nine of Wands showing up here. And the chariot is in the reverse. Okay, so the chariot, it says it's the moon. <clears throat> All right, so the moon is in your sign. It's a new moon. Okay, when it's a new moon, that means that something is ending, okay? Uh, I do see an ending here with the Ten of Swords. All right, so someone is giving up. Uh, with the nine of wands, all right, there is a lot of resistance. I'm not sure in which area of life it could be in. Uh, it could be in your relationship. It could be in business. It could be at work. All right, there is a tower moment at home that triggered this uh, event happening in your life. Okay, uh, I feel like some of you Aries, it's time for a change. Okay, uh, it's it's time for a change of scenery, location, job, career, like. There's like, you represent new beginning, all right? So there's a lot of things that is actually um, <clears throat> supporting this new beginning. We have Aquarius, uh, Saturn and Aquarius, also Jupiter and Aquarius. All of those uh, energy is really there to try to align you into a direction, okay? Because Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, you don't feel valuable, or you don't feel value, I should say, in your current circumstances, okay? So maybe in a place, a country, I hope it's not at home with your family. I doubt it, okay? It's some external, some type of environment, or maybe it's more personal too, okay? Some, maybe some of you have adjusted to something for far too long, okay? The tower is in the reverse, okay? Tower's coming down, Aries. I'm not sure. I didn't know you were resisting like this. Changes you, Aries. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Well, somebody is resisting if it's not you. Maybe somebody is resisting uh, letting you go too, okay? You've been dragged for some, some time, Ten of Swords. I hope you get to see clearly now, okay? Because I feel like with Saturn squaring you and all the energy last year was... Uh, and for a few years was in Capricorn squaring your sign like maybe there was a little rebellious side of you that was just you know going and you know uh, testing waters I'm not sure but now it's like it's not even a test it's like there's nothing there or at some place something you're doing someone queen of wands in the reverse this is someone who has a low confidence here okay so my because the low confidence is coming by knowing that Someone is 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 uh, um, is uh, valuable, but dealing with people that don't see it or having to dumb or dim your light. I hope you're not that. You're not doing that. That would be you, Aries. Is someone trying to dim your light? Is someone trying to make you something that it was overdone that you don't want to do anymore, or you're just? It's not really, there's a lack of passion in some areas of life. It's like a brutal change, okay? Be ready. Ten of swords with a tower in a reverse. It's a brutal change, okay? Because you don't want to be left in a rut, all right? There's new opportunities that you want to go towards, but the chariot is in the reverse, all right? I see some ent entanglement, all right? You are entangled 
with someone queen of wands in a reverse you know venus is in aries and they say that venus in aries is it at her fall okay and what that means is she doesn't feel comfortable because ego because aries is such a sign of ego where it's about me all right and venus is that libra sign like give and take like she likes you know to feel a uh, harmony okay uh, around her so there's someone who here is it's not feeling really um like she's being left out of a deal or a situation it could have something to do with money ace of pentacles all right and she's like exhausted nine of wands could be a sagittarius all right okay i could be related to uh travel something at a foreign place or a stranger something about that here eight of cups and the moon okay so see someone something is ending all right someone is looking for something better elsewhere all right some some someone is turning their back all right because um see there's still things that are keeping um there's still people and things that are not really uh revealed to you right now okay people intentions but in any way in any event you're looking for yourself here okay because you're realizing that it's some something is a dead end situation oh my god it's such a gloomy <laughs> meaning for your birthday it's because it's time aries aries don't forget you have pluto all right in the sign of capricorn squaring you so pluto is the sign that controls scorpio all right all right so mars is controlled by uh, Mars. Aries is controlled by um, Mars and Scorpio share that ruler, but that ruler, but also Scorpio has uh, Pluto. Okay. But now I think it's been downgraded. But anyways, so that is a square for you there. That is about revealing secret that are there that you can't see. Okay. From you or from other people and then putting them all for everybody else to see in the 10th house, which is the highest house of, uh, you know, career reputation. So splitting is something either there's a problem in your career, you have marital problems because of your career, your, your, your work is exposing your marital problems. People at work are aware of your marital problems. Okay. Something of that nature happening anyways queen of wands is not happy here all right there's a feminine energy who feels very she's coming from a place of lack and i could tell she's not being nourished here um let's look into this queen of wands in a reverse five of cups and four of swords okay so i feel someone i'm sorry to say that but i feel like someone here is not happy all right that is not you aries that is not you. Five of Cups, <clears throat> some regrets. Maybe someone is regretting losing you, Sagittarius. Oh, why am I saying Sagittarius? This is for Aries. Maybe it's about a Sagittarius. Maybe a Sagittarius is regretting losing you. All right. Or vice versa. Flip it around. Maybe uh, my cross watchers, um, you know, Aries is regretting losing you. Okay. Someone is not happy that has to do with their relationship. They're not happy with how the relationship look like. They, I mean, there's a lack of passion for a swords. Something is really now. I feel like there could have been an issue that would have uh, carried on for years, but now someone is like pondering on this. And it's like, why is this? Can I do something about it? Just to realize that nine of wands, it's like, mm, it's going to be a burden in this, con this continue in the future. It's going to be a burden, all right? Something burden. There's a burden at work, all right? Someone's reputation, ace of pentacles, is in a reverse. It's being affected. And I feel someone is like being, yeah, like someone's ego is being scratched a little bit here. The hanging man and the seven of cups. Oh, it's in the reverse. Let me tell you something, Aries. Okay, now things are clear. All right, there's a lunatic around you. The hanging man looks like a lunatic. All right, but I feel that I have to tell you, Aries. 
people around you start to look at you weird now. Okay, let me tell you something special that happened. Is did you know that uh, I think last two or three days ago, now we have uh, the pharaohs in Egypt. They were relocated, right? They were in one location and then they located them or they relocated them into a different location. That is huge. And when that happened, okay, go check it out on the online, guys. It was, I had to look at it. It was like kind of a show and it was 18 kings and four queens. They were transported in the most dignified way to their new location. Now, I, I, when that happened, I was thinking right away about Aries. I was like, it had to happen during Aries time because Aries, you truly are the emperor, okay? Aries is emperor and Pharaoh means king's emperor, okay? So um, I think you're being relocated or there's something about a relocation, okay? A move, a house, a family, reshuffling, something about that, okay? And I think whatever move is about to take place either is going to be uh, taking place, like I said, okay, by force. I've been telling you this, okay, because I, I did your, your chart at the beginning of the year. I'll put a link in this video for your uh, January 2021 reading, okay? Either by force or you're going to be willing to do the necessary what's going to be a lot of work because if tower in the reverse all right someone's going to have to fall down you're going to have to push someone down or you're going to have to change someone's position shuffle them around and someone may not like that this queen of wands in the reverse may not like that okay you're in a very tough position aries so i have this six of pentacles in the reverse this nine of swords oh wow this empress I have to tell you, Aries, someone is lying to you. Okay, it's time to consult because, okay, you could be making a mistake right now because I feel like there's something coming in, Aries, with the Ten of Swords and the Tower in the reverse where it's like inevitable, all right? It's like it's a chess move. You have no choice, okay, because... Nobody, like, a side is not going to be happy, and the other side, you may not be happy. You may not like the life or your life or things of that nature, okay? Now, it's not that it's a negative reading. It's not that. It's mostly because for some of you, if this resonates, okay, because if it doesn't resonate, it's not your reading, okay? But for some of you, if it does resonate, I feel like you have made agreements or maybe signed or married someone that was absolutely wrong and now you're just like you're looking at your position and let's say forecasting the last the next five years and you just you know you don't want to you, you don't want to make this happen and that is like triggering a tower moment because the seven of cups it's about you having like all the proof of like okay this is what I thought you were in the beginning or what I would get and turn out, now I see exactly. All right. It doesn't mean that it's good or bad. It means it's not, it may not be compatible for you because someone feels devalued. Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. And also someone has like low self-esteem or, or low standard, okay? This Queen of Wands in the reverse, she could be a troublemaker, okay? Especially if she's not getting something, all right? or she's not, her ego is kind of, you know, affected, she is, she could be a loose gang, okay? She could be very um, dangerous somehow. And I think here uh, with the Four of Swords and the Five of Cups, you know, not much time, I feel like. Time is in the essence right here. Aries, all right, eight of cups, all right, there's still a lot of family issues underneath, okay, because you're the emperor, you have a lot of people under you, if it's not your family directly, it's you as a boss at work, your family, okay, the group that you manage, all right, in your business, okay, there is like, because that's gonna, that's affecting your money, okay, with the hanging man and the ace of pentacles, all right, the hanging man in the reverse, at least he's ready to take action. 
because in the right position, sometimes this one takes some time. It's, you know, it's, it's Pisces energy. It could be about a Pisces too. All right. That could be affecting your money for some reason, but I'm going to end your reading here, Aries. All right. Let me wish you a very, very happy birthday to all of you. All right. I hope you will be celebrating. You're the fire for most of us in our lives. So please comment below the video. Let me know how this resonates with you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And until next time, send me lots of kisses. I love you.